basically it's not noticeable because it plants perfectly in the environment. Here is the head. He pretends to be a leaf. And these are the wings. I looked for this katydid for days. The tricky part is to find it because it's so well camouflaged. Better pick a word. No. A year and a half ago, Christian suffered a stroke and um, at first he was very ill. He physically on his right side was paralyzed, but that recovered quite quickly, but he lost his language. So over the last year and a half, he's learned to speak and right again. So he uses these tiles to um, to spell out the word and somehow like physically putting the tiles together helps him remember how the word is spelled. So in the past when Christian wrote, he wrote a book about orchids, deceptive beauties, and he wrote that himself, fully wrote it. But I've been much more involved in the writing than I would have been prior to the stroke. But I like it. Yeah. It gets better. <laughs> I think it's better not to speak because this is another um, destruction from taking a picture. This was in the second last day in the Congo and there I was sitting maybe four meters away from this group. I spent a lot of time go there every day, every day, every day. I know how I speak. They trust me more and more. And after several weeks, they trust me. Like this. This is the same situation a week before. And they eat food, whatever they eat, to plant in. Because they, are, they know I'm here. So when I make a noise, suddenly everything turned. What are you doing? So I start uh, getting leaves or a food and they are very content. Oh, you're just eating. Okay. I'm the weird uncle. <laughs> we are a little weird but harmless. It's taken maybe one kilometer from my house. It's really important pollinator of this tree, the Okroma tree. And it's really tricky to get this because I built a tower 30 meters high. I was sitting one level lower with a remote control and waited for hours, for hours, for hours. I often fall asleep. <laughs> Because it's dark, it's late, That's so I have missed many opportunities while I sleep. So I think the book is on about tropical rainforests. So one of the main things that we want to illustrate is firstly how dependent we are on the natural world. How important plants and trees and forests are for the functioning of this planet. They create food, they create oxygen. Without them we don't exist. Basically every species we treat in this book is threatened. And so we really want to bring that message home and try and get people to understand that we have a, a duty to look after these species and this planet better and that it is arrogant to, to do anything else.